Today, I'd like to talk about how robust optimization can be applied to optimization problems containing uncertain black box constraints modeled by warped Gaussian processes. The work that I'm presenting is the work of my supervisor, Ruth Meissner, our collaborators, Inesh and Jonathan from Schlumberger Cambridge Research and myself. In mathematical programming, we have lots of methods for optimization under uncertainty when it comes to parametric uncertainty. The best known techniques are robust optimization, stochastic programming, and chance constraint programming. However, a lot of engineering problems contain functional dependencies which are not explicitly known and may be expensive to evaluate through experiments or simulation. These black box functions can be addressed using other techniques. One is Bayesian optimization, which largely looks at black box objectives, but has also been extended to black box constraints. Another one is the use of surrogate models to represent black box functions in mathematical programs. In this work, we are interested in applying techniques for optimization under uncertainty to optimization problems with uncertain black box constraints. The type of problem that we are looking at looks like this. We have some objective function f and some feasible region x. We also have at least one constraint which contains a linear combination of a parameter vector z. These parameters depend on a set of decision variables yi through a black box function g. This type of problem is relevant to a lot of applications. One example is equipment degradation, where the parameters z are the rate of degradation and xi is the time for which a piece of equipment is operated. The total degradation is the sum of degradation in each time period i and should be smaller than some upper value b. Another example is optimal vehicle routing. Here, the black box function may model travel time for leg i of a journey, and xi is a binary indicating whether this leg is selected to be part of the journey or not. The problem with black box functions is that they tend to be expensive to sample and samples can be noisy. This uncertainty can lead to inadequate surrogate models, which can lead to solutions that are not feasible in practice. One approach that can avoid this is suggested in a recent contribution by Hülen et al. This approach addresses uncertainty in black box functions by replacing them with surrogate models and considering the parameters of those models to be uncertain. In this work, we propose a different approach. We model the black box function by stochastic models, in particular standard Gaussian processes and warped Gaussian processes, and develop a method for robust optimization of these models. Our approach has the advantage that the Gaussian process captures uncertainty in the black box function in a more direct and very intuitive way. The standard Gaussian process is a stochastic process that is often used as a surrogate model. One of its advantages is that it provides not only a prediction of the mean, but also a confidence associated with this prediction. Another advantage is that if you sample a standard Gaussian process at a number of locations, you get a multivariate normal distribution. We can use this property when we model the black box function in our problem by a standard Gaussian process. We get a multivariate normal distribution for the parameter vector z. The left-hand side of our constraint in our problem is a linear combination of z and is therefore also normal distributed with a known distribution. We can use this to construct a deterministic equivalent of a chance constraint. In many practical applications, however, the standard Gaussian process model may not be adequate. For example, because the noise in the black box function samples is non-Gaussian. In this case, a warped Gaussian process may be an alternative, more flexible model. A warped Gaussian process uses a warping function h to map the observations into a latent space. 
In this latent space, a standard Gaussian process is fit to the data. When you train a warped Gaussian process, the parameters of the warping function are optimized simultaneously with the standard Gaussian process. These two graphs illustrate the power of warped Gaussian processes. The standard Gaussian process on the left cannot model the non-uniform noise in the data well. The warped Gaussian process on the other side captures this characteristic of the data set very well. The flexibility of the warped Gaussian process is great, but the downside is that there's no simple chance constraint reformulation anymore. Instead, we have developed an approximation to the chance constraint using robust optimization. We use the Gaussian process to construct a confidence ellipsoid in the latent space, which contains the true values of the black box function with high probability. We then construct a robust optimization problem that requires that the uncertain constraint holds for all parameter values which, warped into the latent space, are within this confidence ellipsoid. Another way to represent this is to take the warping function into the uncertainty set, constructing a warped uncertainty set. This figure shows an example of this, with the ellipsoidal set in the top right corner and the warped set in the bottom left. As you can see, the resulting problem is a robust optimization problem with a linear uncertain constraint and a decision-dependent uncertainty set which may or may not be convex. How can we reformulate this into something that we can actually solve? I'll discuss conditions for the convexity of this set slightly later in this video, but for now just assume that the warped set is in fact convex. Yet another way to represent this problem is by replacing the semi-infinite constraint with an inner maximization problem. When the warped uncertainty set is convex, we can use Wolfe duality to reformulate this inner maximization into a deterministic counterpart. The Wolfe dual essentially consists of replacing the inner maximization problem by its KKT conditions. The reformulation with the Wolfe dual may be nonlinear, non convex, but even a non optimal solution is a feasible solution to the robust optimization problem. Let's look at convexity conditions. In order for the Wolfe dual to be equivalent, we need to show either that the uncertainty set is convex or at least that the KKT point is unique. This graph shows the warping functions for the two case studies that we are using to evaluate our approach. We can show that when the warping function is concave and the variables xi are positive, as is the case for a production planning case study, the KKT point is in fact unique. The same holds when the warping function is convex and xi is negative. For cases where these conditions are not satisfied, like our drill scheduling case study, we have developed a custom branch and bound strategy, which makes use of the special structure of the inner maximization problem in order to globally optimize it efficiently. The first results that I would like to show you are a comparison between the confidence value used to construct the uncertainty set and the probability of constraint violation evaluated using the true underlying data generating distribution. Ideally, the actual feasibility would be equivalent to the desired feasibility. In the graph, this is indicated by the dotted line. As you can see, our approach is a conservative approximation to the chance constraint. One of its disadvantages, however, is that with increasing dimension t of the uncertainty set, the approximation becomes more conservative. To alleviate this, we have developed an a posteriori algorithm which evaluates the conservatism of the solution using the Gaussian process distribution and adjusts the confidence parameters 
accordingly to get closer to the desired probability of constraint violation. The a posteriori approach leads to much less conservative solutions, as is evident from this graph. However, for instances with more noise in the data, the actual feasibility sometimes is lower than the desired feasibility. This violation of the chance constraint can occur when the warped Gaussian process, which is used to evaluate feasibility in the a posteriori approach, does not model the underlying data generating distribution well. In order to show you how considering uncertainty in this way affects the optimal solution, I need to tell you a little more about one of the case studies that we are actually using to evaluate this approach. This is a drill scheduling problem which we designed with our collaborators at Schlumberger Cambridge Research. The goal in drill scheduling is to find drill parameters that minimize the cost of drilling an oil or gas well through a given geology. Current practice is to drill as fast as possible given some safety constraints. This ignores that drilling fast can increase degradation of certain parts of the drill string, which can lead to unexpected tool failures, delays and additional costs. The drill scheduling problem, which we have constructed, takes this into account. It optimizes the drill parameters and schedules maintenance of the drill string at suitable points. The rate of equipment degradation generally depends on some of the drill parameters through a black box function and is very uncertain. That's why we use data from our collaborators to model the rate of degradation with a warped Gaussian process and apply the approach that I've been presenting. Because geology consists of layers of distinct rock formations with different rock parameters, this problem also gives rise to some interesting combinatorial challenges for which we have designed custom integer strategies. Finally, I'd like to show you how considering black box uncertainty affects the optimal solution in this drill scheduling problem. This graph shows the optimal total cost of drilling and cost of maintenance as a function of target drilling depth for an instance of the drill scheduling problem. We show results for three different uncertainty set sizes, that is, three different amounts of uncertainty considered. For a small target depth and considering little uncertainty, the entire well can be drilled without scheduling maintenance. As we consider more uncertainty, maintenance needs to be scheduled at a shallower target depth. Looking at the average rate of penetration, that is the speed at which we're drilling, shows that it is often beneficial to slow down drilling in order to decrease degradation and avoid doing maintenance. This shows that the current practice of always drilling as fast as possible is actually non-optimal once you consider degradation and uncertainty in the rate of degradation. I hope that in this video I've been able to convince you that warped Gaussian processes are a useful and flexible model for modeling black box functions and that combining them with robust optimization allows optimizers to consider black box uncertainty in an intuitive way which can lead to better decision making. Many thanks for watching my video and if you're interested in this work please take a look at our paper on archive or follow us on Twitter.